Hi, you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. Welcome or welcome back. Um, so I am going to get started on putting the journal cover together. I won't be able to do all of it because I need to sew the signatures in. I want to have hidden signatures, um, hidden sewing in. So I will be able to do some of it. So I thought what I would do is show you guys what I have made. In one of, I think it was last week, I showed you guys in the um, Thrifty Thursday that I found these napkins at Michael's and they were the Easter, you know, in the Easter stuff and they were 60% off. They had a lot. I imagine they still have some if you want to go looking for them. This was one napkin that I cut in half. It was, you know, up like this and I just, I cut it and I had to do some stitching. And so I thought I would show you what I did. So this napkin, it was a little bit too long. So I took this side off a little bit so that this could be centered on the front of the book. And um, so I had to stitch this again. I also cut it this way right in half. So one side would cover the front and the other side would cover the inside. And then it was kind of see-through. So I used my stuff that I always use, Heat and Bond, it's Ultra Hold. I get it at Hobby Lobby and unfortunately, you know, they don't have the coupons anymore so you have to pay full price. Um, I don't know what the cost is, I just get it because I have to. Now, I generally cover that with something, uh, the heat and bond stuff. I usually cover it um, so that you can't see through and since I'm using chipboard and it was brown, I did not want my white napkin to look dingy and so I've never done this before but I actually took it and covered the heat and bond with paper it's just copy paper but I mean and it's it's adhered and all that but you know so I like the color and you know the darkness of the chipboard doesn't show through if it does it doesn't show through very much but you know I don't know we're gonna see what happens I've been very careful not to put any folds in it while I've been working on it. I took some extra fabric and stitched in some pockets. Um, they're torn on the sides and then I sewed them a couple stitches here um, just for, you know, stability on it. So that's going to be the inside of the journal and then this will be the outside of the journal. Um, so what I did here, same thing. I did the heat and bond and I covered it with just copy paper. And then I took and added some of this, um, I think it's called eyelet trim. I really don't know what it's called, but I think it's eyelet trim um, on the top and the bottom. And I stitched, no, I glued it. I glued it down first with just art glitter glue just to get it started and then after that dried and it was in place really well I put Fabri-Tac on it so that's how I glued that down I took some fabric and pulled some strips for my tie closure I like to double side them if I have enough fabric because I just think that's really pretty so I just zigzag stitched all the way around it to um you know, stop the fray and all that kind of stuff. You know, it can fray up to that point. So I did that on both sides and stitched them down. There's, I ran two lines of stitching and then I also glued it, um, this part right here. So same over here, two lines of stitching and I also glued it. And then I thought it would be cute to add like this little thing here so the spine will have this I sewed a button in and then I hung this little tassel off the button but this is going to have to go on last um, after I sew the signatures in and I am not going to put you guys through that it it's really kind of just misery <laughs> pure and simple <laughs> okay so this is where I thought I would show you you know how I 
how I did it, you know, first, and then what I'm doing from here. It should be a very short video because basically I'm just gonna be doing some gluing. But I just wanted to show you my process, um, kind of explain how I got to this point. I decided to do my best to find the center and go ahead and, you know, put some lines of pencil on either side to glue this down. Make sure we are kind of in frame. And so yeah, I worked on this. Um, it's probably more glue than I needed. I worked on this yesterday afternoon for a couple of hours, you know, because I sit and I have to sit and look at it for a while to make a decision on what I'm going to do because I don't really know. Um, I was saying, I think in my last video, that I was in that procrastination mode because, you know, I knew this was going to be some, you know, thinking was going to be involved and I just didn't know if I was ready for that. <laughs> so, you know how that is sometimes. This is the quick dry tacky glue. I wanted to be able to move it around just a little bit for a minute if I needed to. But um, I think we're going to be good. And so here's the part that I'm just not sure about because I've never done it when I backed the whole thing with paper. So I am going to go ahead and crease my paper. I just, I don't know what this is gonna, you know, be like at this point. I, I just don't know. Hopefully it's fine, but I don't know. I guess I should, well, I'll crease it back the other way when, once we're done. Make sure I'm still where I'm supposed to be. And then I also go, wait, am I doing this right? But I mean, I am gluing it to the back side of it, so I must be doing it somewhat right, I think. go back on itself now. I wanted to just kind of start getting the crease going before I glued the rest of my sides on. So you guys, I've never done it this way before. I don't know if I've said that. I pretty much do not make my cover the same ever. And that is because I never make the same journal twice. I mean, I'm using different stuff every time. So I've never covered it with a napkin, you know, for instance. So I had to make the size of the napkin work for me. So if that makes sense. So, um, and then adding the paper to it was just kind of a, a thought on how to, you know, really have a nice heavy block from the I don't know if the word is block, but you know, so you couldn't see the brown through it. So, you know, I don't know. This isn't like a, here's how I do it. It's a, here's how I'm doing it this time. And I'm sure you guys are the same way. I imagine you don't ever make the same thing twice either. Okay, so that's going to be what's on the inside. All right, let's go ahead and get this glue down. or get the front end back down. So this is a pretty heavy chipboard. I don't know what, you know, like it's a point, you know, something point of chipboard, 50 point, 100 point. I don't have any idea what it is. I don't remember. I think I bought it, I don't know, it might have been around Christmas time that I, I ran out and I bought some more and I almost never um, remember what I buy from one time to the next. So I have no idea, but it's a pretty, pretty thick piece of um, 
chipboard. It makes for a really, really sturdy journal, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to stand up so I can kind of see what I'm doing. So one of the things that I'm having to kind of figure out in my head, the, the shape of the napkin was, you know, a little bit the sewing. That is not my, that rounded sewing. That was how they came. And so I'm thinking that the ruffle will take care of that. And I might, I don't know. I'll make it so that you can't see the chipboard. I'm not sure how, but I will make it so that you can't see the chipboard. Well, I guess one of them was my stitching. We'll say that this one was mine since it's a little better than this one over here. This one's pretty bad. There is still fabric, but I will definitely make sure that you can't see it when it's all said and done. see here. Um, the next thing that I need to do is, so here's my little pattern thing for making holes. So I just need to make holes through this because I don't want my threads going through this. I'm going to glue this on top of my threads. So what I do is I make it the same size as my um, spine and I stick it on with uh, these clips so that it doesn't move and I just make sure that it's where it's supposed to be real well. And then I kind of play with my signatures to see where I want my lines. My lines right now are not perfectly, you know, like these two are closer together than these. And so one of the things that I like to do when I have my signatures pretty much full, I take it and I hold it like this and I see how much space that there needs to be kind of in between things. And to me, this worked out well to give enough space so that there wasn't like a real bunched up, you know, right really close together. Okay, and so then I take um, a phone book. See, there are still uses for phone books. I take a phone book and I've been using this one for a long time. The front is almost destroyed. Can you see that? There's a couple places where I've put the thing in quite a few times. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'll turn it over and, you know, use the back side a little bit. 
so then I just start making my holes. I generally start in the center. You just have to make sure that you're actually on the book. Otherwise, you might end up putting a real nasty hole in your spine. And I do a good sized hole. Again, I make sure it's on the book over here. Sorry, I, I don't know what to talk about right now. I had to run into town for a few things and I haven't done much. Nothing exciting, that's for sure. Okay, so there are my holes. And then I use this for putting the um, holes in my signatures. I just fold it like this. I do five holes. Um, always because I just feel like my signatures are so doggone fat <laughs> I mean I just don't know if it would hold otherwise with just the three hole pamphlet stitch so maybe if I could ever you know like take my signatures down to fewer pages but anyway so then I stick this down inside of my signature like this and I put it in this book like this, and that's how I end up doing it. But I'll go in and straighten everything up in there to make sure it is where I want it to be before I do that. But that's how I, you know, put my holes in. All right, so let's see. Um, that's all I'm going to do for right now. But what I was thinking I could do is just kind of put the stuff in and hold it together so that you can see. I need to leave it alone so that the glue can set. But um, this way you guys can kind of just get an idea of what it will be once it's done. So it will look like this. Hopefully it all fits. <laughs> I put it together several times anyway like this. This will be down the center of the spine and then the back with this cute little tassel hanging. This tassel comes off if, if it's not you know, like something you like. Anyway, and then the inside, you know, when you open it, we'll have these cute little pockets. Anyway, so I will be sitting here working on stitching in the signatures and there will probably be tears. I am telling you, it is hard for me. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I know it was short and it wasn't like complete, but um, it's probably better this way for everybody. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.